All right, guys, let's do a reaction to this. So, uh, my name is Randall. This is the McClure's. Thanks for stopping by. We react, review, make fun of, and laugh at stuff over here. We are supported by McClure's.store. You can get quality American products. We're going to be checking out Sebastian Gorkin live. He's going to be talking to Carrie Lake about what's going on in Arizona as an Arizona resident. Um, you know, I'm curious. This is uh, crucial for me. So, let me get in the center of the camera here and uh, let's get into this and see what they have to say. A gun grabbing attitude. Uh, dear friends, thank you for your kind, kind words. It's going to be tough the next few days. Pecan pie, apple pie, the tryptophan, but 42 pounds. That's how much I lost with the great Dr. Ashley Lucas and her PhD weight loss program. If you've got a few pounds you could share, this is the first diet that worked for me. If I can do it, anyone can do it. My wife lost 36 pounds. My colleague Mike Gallagher lost 50. Honestly, cares, he had more bro. to lose. We showed you, Arizona, and we are delighted. Carrie Lake, welcome back to America First. Uh, here we Hello, go. Seb. Yes, we we uh, filed some paperwork today. This is not our main case. This is just pressuring Maricopa County to give us access to the information we need. And we are working on a big court filing uh, with, with with pertaining to this election that was absolutely the most horrendously run election, I think, in the history of our country and definitely in Arizona history. The people who ran it should be ashamed of themselves. Our movement was so powerful, Seb, that they Amen. couldn't defeat us with their usual Amen antics. They had to pull out all the stops, knowing that our people were showing up on election day, and it sure looks like they sabotaged election day in many oh, cases here around Arizona. And it's it's just appalling they what they've done to our sacred vote. And I will stand up and fight it every step of the way. All right. I was talking to my muse, my wife, this morning. I said, hey, 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 you know who's coming I on my show? So. Carrie I Lake's so. coming on my show. You know, one thing I respect about Carrie Lake is she is a fighter, man. She just keeps trucking. She keeps pushing. Uh, it's kind of sad that our country needs women to step up and lead like this in the first place. But uh, I'm glad that she's doing it for sure. Um, and she's taking no, no BS. So... Good for her. I hope she can make some changes around here. We need so it. So you've met my wife, and she and I asked her, "What should I ask? What should I ask Carrie?" And she said, "Just ask her what happened and what is she gonna do about it." So, according to Katie, what happened? Because we have unbelievable stories of rank incompetence from the GOP, yeah. the printer cartridges, the lines, the lack of a backup machine. What are we talking about in Arizona? Are we talking about idiots or are we talking about fraud or are we talking about both? Both. I mean, maladministration, um, I think some malice. I believe that there, that we may have a pretty good case for malice and perhaps fraud as well. So we're taking a look at everything. But as you know, in Arizona, we have election season, not election yeah. day. And they start handing out the ballots uh, well ahead, about a month ahead of election day. And they're floating around everywhere. You know, we've seen pictures of people who have one legal voter in the House, but they get five ballots because every person who's ever lived in that house is getting a ballot. And so, you know, you've always got that problem when you have an election season rather than election day. But knowing that our supporters were going to show up en masse and that we had a massive movement, unlike anything we've ever seen in Arizona. Arizona before. The problems really started rolling out on election day. The minute the polls opened, the machines didn't work. In 63 percent of the polling places on election day, the tabulators didn't work. They spit out ballots immediately. The printers didn't work. Do we hear that? 63 percent of the freaking printers didn't work. That's not, oh, one went down. Oh, we forgot to change the ink cartridge uh, in this one. 63%. These were supposedly checked prior to election. I would assume you would check the machine prior to election. Maybe you don't check the machine. Uh, but this is some bullshit. We got some and bullshit And it going was on. like that pretty much all day. By the time uh, the, the you know technicians got there to try to work on some of the machinery, we were six and seven hours into the voting day. Lines that stretch three hours long, people who probably drove up, saw the line and said, oh, forget right, it, right. I'm just not gonna vote. And there are so many problems. We found out that they didn't even certify the printers at the polling places. And so we're digging into that. 
The only printer that got certified were the printers at Runbeck, which is the million dollar printers that print out the ballots that go into the mailboxes. But they didn't bother to certify the printers that are printing ballots all day, every day on election day. And so there are a number of problems, <laughs> and we are all over each and every one of them. We have whistleblowers okay. who've come forward okay. and tons so, of evidence that we're pouring through right now. Okay, so that's what we're saying is they check the printers for their people's ballots, the mail-in ballots. But the printers for the ballots for the Republicans who wanted to wait till the day of because we are skeptical of the mail-in system, we didn't check any of those printers just by coincidence. It's not partisan, though. It's not partisan at all. All right. Well, I'm going to be uh, digesting both of these filings from your team. I'll be posting uh, my response to them on uh, social media. Okay. But in, in the meantime, I've got to ask the question. I should tell you real quick, though, Seb, that filing you have is not our main case. I don't yes. want people to look at No, no, at I this. understand. No, I understand. And I can't wait for, for that filing as well. What support are you getting from the GOP, the party, the RNC? Are, are, they, are they in your corner, Carrie Lake? I wish I could sit here and tell you that they are pouring money into our legal fund. They are not. They are interested in basically looking at how we can repair things going forward. We have to dig through this election. We didn't dig through properly the 2020 election. Correct. And it looks like what happened in this election is they That's pulled what they a said lot on the of the last same one. tricks they did. So the last one was some shenanigans. Well, let's just move forward. We got to figure out how to fix it. Blah, blah, blah. You didn't do shit. It happened again. Now let's just move forward again. Keep. At some point, we got to fix the problem here. Did in 2020 and then some. And I'm not interested in looking to the future. I'm interested in finding out what the hell went wrong, how they tried to sabotage Election Day here in Arizona, and finding out who the culprits are. And yes. we will find let's out who that. the culprits are. The let's RNC has not given us any money to do that. And they're not really interested in taking up our case. I think our case is going to be explosive. And I will tell Katie Hobbs and Governor Doug Ducey right now, if they plan to sit down and certify this rotten election, they better think twice about it. Because we have an explosive case that's going to, I believe, rock this country and rock this world of how they're doing elections here in Maricopa wow. County and in Arizona. Right. Wow. Um, you are very busy. You want to keep fighting. However, we came up okay, with a Okay, that's a big idea. statement right there from Israel. Carrie Lake, everybody. That is a big statement from Carrie Lake. She says what she's going to drop is going to change things on how people look at how elections are run in the United States. That is big news. We need to get this out there. Um, the problem is they just bury the information. So we need to get this spread. I'll do my part. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. Well, for a few days with 300 of my listeners and, and Dinesh D'Souza, and uh, I've asked you as a, a media star to fill in for me. Can I confirm live now on air in front of 3 million people <laughs> that you will be one of my guest hosts? You caught me at a weak moment, and I, and I agreed to do the work that you do. Yes, I'm going to be filling in at least one day, maybe two while you're gone, unless you want to stay here and let me go to Israel for you. Uh, I think we need you to fight, fight, fight. And uh, I think <laughs> he's like, no, I'm taking my trip to Israel, bro. In the meantime, we've got 60 seconds left. We put your uh, web page up on there, carrylake.com. What do you need right now from people who believe in you? Do you need more lawyers? Do you need more money? Do you need volunteers? Carry, you're speaking to the nation. We have great lawyers right now. I'm very confident in our case. It gets better by the day. As I said, whistleblowers and people who've who've been uh, watching what's going on are coming forward. We are having to fund this ourselves. We've had some donors. We, we don't have the RNC's backing. So if anybody wants to go to our campaign website and make a donation there, they're welcome to do it. I'm not here begging for money. I will pay for this out of my own bank account if I have to, but we will not. We will not sit here and allow them to destroy our elections in this country. If we don't stand up and fight now, Seb, we won't have a country. And we need to find out who the uh, sunshine patriots are right now and get them out. And we want the hardcore patriots. She's one of them. She'll be giving us updates when she's hosting for me when I'm in Israel. She's Carrie Lake. This is America First. God bless. Okay. There it is, folks. Carrie Lake stopping by Gorka to drop 
Um, she's uh, maybe she's gonna release the Kraken, as they say. Uh, but appreciate you stopping by to check this one out. Um, currently on suspension from YouTube, but this will go up afterwards. Um, appreciate you stopping by McClure's Store is where you can help support me and my family. We sell quality American products. McClure's Store. Uh, appreciate it. Take care, guys.